Good day viewers, let's talk about this walking iris. We've had it in a pot since it was a little plant about this big, no bigger than this right here. And it's been replanted every year for, I don't know, four or five years. Until it's in a bit, pretty big pot. It's getting too big to bring in every year. So I'm gonna move it to an outdoor plant. It, these will, is where the flowers were, they'll pop off and it'll grow a new baby flower and they just kind of grow in the ground and they it's almost like they're walking across your garden as they spread out but I'm gonna put this one in the ground today if it don't make it it don't make it we'll take it out of the pot and I'll video the process of putting it in the ground over here by this iris I dug up pretty good area here yesterday and I need to work that pot and soil in just a little better it would be too crowded to put tulips and the walking iris there so that's going to be the walking iris bed right here next to this bearded iris or whatever kind of iris this is <clears throat> yesterday when I was making my video I didn't quite have my GoPro pointed the right way so I guess over here between these two azalea bushes is where I can work the soil and put some tulips, but there's no hurry for that. This little stuffed animal I found is a, an old cat toy of T-Bones, I guess. T-Bone was a good old cat. That needs to go in the trash. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna... Don't know if they'll live or not, but I'm gonna cut off these little babies and sprite, patch them right into the ground. See if they'll take root right around there. We're just starting. If I was putting these in a pot, that's what I would do. So I'm just gonna clip them off and I wouldn't want them to spread out that darn far. My bed ain't that big. <laughs> I might be able to split that iris when I get it out of the pot into more than one plant. We shall see. I'm not going to bore you to death watching me dig this dirt, but I'm going to work this soil just a little more. And get that pot and soil mixed in, softened up. <clears throat> Still got a lot of grass roots in there. Guess there's nothing I can do about that. And I'll come back to you in a minute. I 
All right, I made me a border around here with some leftover border I had on the shelf around there. That's going to look pretty good and maybe retain, keep the walking iris from walking out here in the yard. Hopefully it'll stop the St. Augustine from walking in there. Should have drove these in there before I dug up the dirt, but it'll, it's a little softer right now, but it'll get packed. Okay, on my flowers here, I'm not an expert at all. <clears throat> but we had this pot up on the top shelf, so it grew extra long. I don't think normally they would walk that far away from the mother plant. I think it would have just drooped down like these leaves do and rooted right in this area. So I'm not going to leave them. I'm going to cut them off. Put them in water for now. We're going to plant them all around the closer to the walking iris. There's one. Take off this dead limb where the bloom used to be. Right now I'm just going to put them in water until I get the big one planted. Got a little baby root growing on there. Just needs a little help. And we're gonna do that by putting in some damp soil. Yeah, this thing had a bunch of blooms on it this year. We still got two potted up over there on the shelf. I'll leave them in pots. In case this one don't make it. working on my thing. I got two borders put in here and I'm gonna put this pot right on into the ground. Found a little tick crawling on my sweatpants here a while ago. So I don't know how many more ticks I might have on me. I didn't realize they were out here in that dang grass unless they fell off that tree. So as soon as I get done here we're gonna hit the shower and make sure I got no ticks on me. I hate ticks. All right, let's go for it. Let's make a hole first. Let's see where we're gonna put that booger bear. Right in the middle. That'll get me started. Probably not deep enough. Alright, Pot, are you going to cooperate with me or what? So I guarantee you, without even looking, this thing is pretty well root bound. Good lord. Stuck in there like glue. This 
might not be the right way to get it loose, but that's what Walter's doing. All right, are you coming out, Flower? Oh, we're gonna have to yank it. Okay, we got it out. Now, what have we got in here? We got a whole conglomeration of walking hours. Should I separate them boogers or not? Good Lord, if I separated them, I'd have walking irons all over the yard. Look at them roots. I expect I would kill it. I know a lot of you are going to tell me I should have separated them. But they were living just fine in that pot together. We're going to leave them together. Okay, that's lovely. I'm going to plant all the baby ones around here and then I think I'll put some pine bark around them. That dirt was pretty soggy so I don't need to get in too big a hurry to water. But I'll definitely always water something when you plant it. Alright. I should put the bark in here and then plant these babies. If not, I'll be covering them up. Let's go get a bag of bark out of the, over on the other side of the house. What are the chances are that was the only tick around? <laughs> I'd say slim and none. <clears throat> I don't know about you other old men, but I can't get up off the ground when I've been down there. <sighs> Time was I'd spring up like a chicken. That's going to look lovely. Yes, sir, Ree Bob, it's got a chance now. In Georgia, when you pick up something that's been laying here on the ground, don't assume there ain't no snake under it. And let's look. Before I put my fingers in jeopardy. All right, here's a bag of bark.
Where'd you put the scissors, Walter? Got me on the lawnmower. Nope. What the hell did I do with my scissors? There they are. There's a snake there, but it be me.
Alright my friends, I had my old GoPro on video a while ago. We have just switched to the new one because the battery went dead. Pretty well got my walking irish in the ground. Got six little babies planted around it. Whether they make it or not it depends on Mother Nature herself. Water them a little bit, and then we're gonna hit the shower. I'll show you a picture of a walking Irish bloom. I know I've showed it before. Somewhere in my Google pictures I got a picture of this thing blooming. You know that warm enough water. Looks good sitting up there next to that bearded Irish. I'll water some more later. But anyway, that's my how-to video on planting and walking ours. I appreciate y'all tuning in today. If you like my vlogs and my videos, reach down there and click like. It won't hurt my feelings a bit. I'll tell you what hurts me is to watch somebody's video and they spend the first 30 minutes of the video trying to con you into subscribing well I like you to subscribe but I ain't gonna con my viewers what would you put all these bricks up here for Walt now you gotta put them up let's go park the whole darn lawnmower oh I forgot this tray That one's gonna have to be staked up a little better. It comes with them damn thorn bushes. Didn't get the root, but I broke it all. Now my fingers smell like tomato plant. Got a lot of tomato blooms. Oh, you know what we need to do? We need to put a little miracle grow in here. Let's do that right now.
Tomorrow we'll put some, uh, I'll think of it in a minute. Tomorrow we'll put some Epsom salts in the water. So we kind of threw in a little tomato update on you today.